morning everyone. We're just about to leave Las Galeras now, where we spent the last week. An amazing place in the Dominican Republic. You definitely gotta visit this place, I think. And we're gonna be heading to a town nearby, which is the capital of this uh, peninsula, Samana. And the town is also called Samana, so we're gonna be heading there. And from what the locals told us, we just go to the main road here, and there's like a van passing by every 30 minutes, so it should be pretty straightforward. And we got all our stuff packed already. This is all that we take. Absolutely boiling today though, look at this. So the day that we leave is the, the nice sunny day. <laughs> oh well. Hola, Samana. ¿Y cuánto es? All aboard, Carol. So we thought we were going to be getting in a closed van, but it's like an open truck. And I think he said 150 per person. I think it's going to take like 30 minutes. Carol, this is high speed. We're going to get there three, three hours later. Probably seeing if there's people to pick up in the town. I'm guessing he's gonna go quicker once we get out of here. Samana, beautiful drive all the way here, just yeah, amazing scenery, just like everywhere on this island so far. And Carol's just gone into this pharmacy here to get some stuff, but look at all these colorful buildings. Uh, not sure if these are colonial or just something new that they've done, but yeah, loads of different colors. <laughs> all good? Yeah. It took a while in there. Yeah, because uh, there were some, some people in the, on the line. My pharmacy. Yeah. Carol. Uh, yeah, it's pharmacy. called Carol. Nice one. Nice buildings, aren't they? I think they're new though, I don't think they're colonial. No. So I guess now we go to the Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Is it close? Yeah, I think so. It's supposed to be like five minutes walking. Alright, that way. Yeah. Alright, let's take all this stuff in the sun. <laughs> So the place we're staying is an Airbnb. A bit noisy because we we're right on a main road and it was $31 a night, so pretty good price. And it looks pretty much brand new. Like a new apartment, so we've got a really nice new kitchen here. Huge area with nothing in it. <laughs> and then this is 
Our bedroom has AC. Definitely need that right now. It's absolutely scorching. And then this is the bathroom. Also looks modern and brand new. I think there's another room here, but yeah, it's not ready. We don't need to use it either. And then out here we have like a little balcony. So it's a good location because like a two, three minute walk that way, we're pretty much on the seafront. So we're just gonna cool down a bit. It's, it's so damn hot right now. And then we'll probably head out, find a place to eat and explore this little town of Samana. Yeah, it's definitely a completely different vibe to Las Galeras. There was like a sleepy beach town, barely any traffic, barely any people walking around. And here's like noisy motorbikes all the time. I got some bananas there, my favorite. Check this out, so there's an American style school bus. I think it is, right? Greenbush Central School. Yeah, emergency exit, it's written in English. Yeah, what's that doing here? <laughs> found a little restaurant, little local restaurant, right on the seafront in front of the Malecon. There's loads of restaurants around here, so pretty much the entire road is all restaurants. So there's two here as well, by our side. So I got a beautiful looking dish. I went for the usual fish with the coconut, but this time I got fried plantains, which is Carol's favorite. Yeah. So, so far I'd always been eating with the rice, but yeah, I got the plantains this time, which is popular in the Caribbean. And you got a panini. Yeah, tuna, tuna sandwich. Yeah, how much was that one? Mm, 320, I think, something like that. 320? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine was 600, so pretty good deal. More food than I usually get here in the Dominican Republic. So we just got some ice creams. This was 80 Dominican pesos, falling apart already because it's so hot. <laughs> Like we're fighting. Yeah, I need to be quick. So you can probably see behind me, there's these islands back there. There's a big one and then there's a second small one over there with a bridge joining them. So we're gonna head over there now and walk across the bridge. I think it's just a walking bridge, no cars allowed. But it's gonna be quite a walk because I think we gotta walk all the way around this bay to get to the other side. That looks like about 20 minutes away. And I think there's some beaches on the other side as well. And hopefully the water is nicer than this part. That's like pure brown in this bay. But I think it is nicer over there. We'll we'll find out. So the entrance to the bridge is right here, but on this side there's also a beach. Seems to have a bit of the sargassum issue. It's a Sunday so everywhere is going to be busier today. So halfway on the first bridge, you can get awesome views of Samana. Man, that is one super green town. <laughs> Looks beautiful from over here. And over on this side was that beach that we saw. The beach actually has an elevator to this fancy looking hotel up there. Didn't see that when we were up there. And this first little island, I think it's called Cayo Linares.
arrived now at the second island. This one I think is called Cayo Biglia. And this one actually has beaches, the other one was just rocky pretty much. And the water's a lot nicer here, a lot clearer, transparent. Seems like there's a popular beach on this side, so yeah, we'll check it out. So this island's a lot bigger as well, there's like quite a big walkway through here. And I think there's another, like a hidden beach down here somewhere. There was one back there, but it was packed, <laughs> like full of kids who were all jumping off this pier. So yeah, we'll see if we can find another one. Pretty cool how they did the bridge walkway though. Yeah, uh, I think I've never seen this kind of uh, bridge anywhere else in the world. It's yeah, like joining islands. Good idea because I, I would guess before you could only come by boat. Yeah. Now you can just walk here. Yeah, exactly. barking at us now you're friendly what about your friends <laughs> calm, calm down we're, we're good hello oh. <laughs> okay everybody hey up. anyway so it's not really a beach just this little pebble rocky place but yeah the water is pretty pretty nice here compared to the rest of the bay Got some locals playing music over there. There's no one here. I wonder why everybody stayed at the same beach. I think it's because it had the pier. Everybody was jumping yeah. off it. Oh yeah. Yeah. More fun there. Yeah, this isn't fun enough for them. Went from guard dog, security dog to affectionate dog very quickly. Mm. <laughs> How is it? Perfect. <laughs> I think every beach we go here in the Dominican Republic, the temperature of the water is like perfect. Yeah, it is. So you might be wondering why we've come here because obviously Las Galeras had the proper like Caribbean beaches. The beaches around here aren't really like Caribbean style. So we actually came here just to go to an island. There's an island back there, it's called Cayo Levantado. It's like the most famous thing to visit here. Yeah, and we're gonna be doing that boat tour tomorrow. Originally, we were just gonna come here, rest today and do the boat tour, but then, yeah, we saw this bridge in the island, so we thought we might as well make a video and, and check it out. And we went to book the boat tour just now. We went to a boat tour place and then they said, oh, follow this guy. So we followed the guy and then he just took us to a place that was closed. It's a Sunday, so he knew it was closed. And then he asked for money because he took us there, even though he knew it was closed. It was only like a dollar, but he was like, oh, give, give me a dollar for the information. And we were like, you didn't give us any information at all. We even asked him what time the tour is tomorrow. And he said, oh, just ask them tomorrow. We gave him a dollar just because it was awkward. But that does seem to be something kind of common here. We were warned by some other tourists when we arrived. They said, oh, watch out for the hustlers. Everyone will try and scam you and add on extra money and stuff like that. So yeah, we do try and avoid them, but it was just weird that a boat tour company told us to go with him. And yeah, he just didn't help us at all. So we ended up booking it online for tomorrow. And yeah, we'll be showing you that place tomorrow. It looks incredible.
this is the first little beach on the island. This is where the party's at. And everybody's jumping. Man, seriously, everywhere in Dominican Republic is a rave. <laughs> Absolutely blasted. So I'm gonna end this one here with the with the rave music. <laughs> it was just a quick tour in the bay. Like I said, we were planning on just resting today and not doing much. So yeah, we've actually done more than we needed to. A lot of walking in this boiling heat, but really looking forward to the boat tour tomorrow. I think it's gonna be absolutely awesome. So stay tuned for that one. And as always, just drop a like on this video to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.